Now we are proceeding into our next module which is Describe Azure Identity and Access and Security. In this one, the very first chapter we are going to learn in this video is Describe Azure Directory Services. I am going to show you the digestive content that you can understand from a slide. So let's understand what is this Azure Directory Services. So this is known as Microsoft Entra ID. The directory service in Azure is called Microsoft Entra ID. I have logged into portal.azure.com and once you log in, if you hit on resources here, you'd all services when you hit on, you would be able to see something called Microsoft Entra ID. This is what we are going to learn. Now let's understand what is this Entra ID is all about. It is similar to Active Directory. You might have heard about this term Active Directory or some of you might have already worked on Active Directory. So this is exactly or similar to Active Directory. Formerly known as Azure Active Directory. This Active Directory is on the cloud. The Active Directory that we have used is on the Windows Server. This is on the cloud. So this is known as Microsoft Entra ID. Now what we can do with this Entra ID? Now, when I say directory services, that means it is talking about managing various things. For example, I am I can create user accounts, I can delete, I can modify user accounts. Now, why you are creating user accounts? You might have created user accounts for various applications. Let's say uh, Gmail. Uh, in Google, you might have created a user account. On Facebook, you might have created a user accounts. So user accounts are generally required for you to access an application. You have a credential to log in, correct? So similar way, using Microsoft Entra ID for the cloud application, if I need access, I can create or I can give access to other users through the Microsoft Entra ID service. Now using this, you can provide access to applications to specific users. Okay, very simple terms, easy to understand. Single sign-on, you might have heard about SSO. Now, what is the real meaning of SSO means? You can enable users to access multiple applications with single set of credentials. Imagine in your company, there are 10 applications. You need to log in. Now, for 10 applications, you might require 10 different credentials and passwords. Now, what happens with the directory services is I can enable single sign-on. Now with the single sign on what happens with the same set of credential with a single set of credential I can access various applications of my company. So this is called single sign on. So all these things you will learn in detail in the Microsoft Entra ID. This is known as Microsoft Entra ID or a directory service on the cloud. Multi-factor authentication you might have also heard about MFA known as multi-factor authentication. What is this? Add an extra layer of security by requiring users to provide additional verification methods. For example, nowadays you might have seen many applications when you log in. First of all, you are entering your credential. After that, it might ask you um, an OTP to enter. That's a multi-factor authentication. Or sometimes it might ask you to do various things. That is a multi-factor authentication. Use of face ID. That is a multi-factor authentication. So various way to authenticate you that you are the right user to get into the application. Let's see. Using Microsoft Entra ID, what can we do? Now the very first thing is authentication. So it has got certain functionalities like you can enable the self-service password reset. So the user doesn't have to call a customer care or the IT support team. Okay, reset my password. You have a self-service password reset that you can enable through the Microsoft Entry ID. This is one of the functionality. Multi-factor authentication, like you know, recognizing through the face ID, all those things. Custom list of band password. So for example, I am creating a password for the application and certain passwords are banned. You know, you can have a list of banned password. One cannot use that, right? Smart lockout services. After you have entered the password wrongly for a couple of times, your password should be, your account should be blocked. So those kind of services you can enable. Next is single sign-on. 
we have briefly heard about single sign on so single sign on means what it will remember one username and password and with that one username and password i can access multiple applications now how that helps imagine your company has got 10 applications now for 10 applications if i'm having 10 different password one thing it bothers the user he might keep the same password but again it bothers the user the other thing is when a user leaves the company that time i have to remove his access by going to 10 different applications and for 10 different applications there might be 10 different admin teams whom i have to write emails okay please remove the user please remove the user so now you can understand when you have a single sign on enabled if i delete that user at one place his access is omitted from all of the application that is there for the organization so that kind of a help you get through the microsoft enter id application management now here there is something called application proxy so what is this application proxy now this application is a cloud application for example and you would like to access that application now many time because the applications are confidential and specific, specifically made for a company or an organization only the employees of that organization should access it so many time you might have seen you might have to use a vpn now what this proxy does using the proxy you can access the web application without the need of vpn so those things also you can enable through the enter id uh, now the other thing is configuration of saas application uh, right what is the saas application software as a service most of the application that you currently using uh, right most of them are uh, software as a service you simply use it you get a you know license for it and start using it similar way or any application which you have hosted on the cloud right end to end it's a saas kind of application so there you might have to configure many things like enabling sso adding removing users so all this can also be done using the enter id so application management single sign on authentication all those things and the very important part is device management now what is this device management registration of devices that means it will restrict access attempts to only those coming from registered devices regardless of requesting user accounts let's say someone has got to know your username and password and he is trying to access the application let's say imagine a bank app you know bank application he is trying to access a bank application from a different device now what happens when a device is registered you can only access that application in that device you cannot access in any other device the moment it identifies somebody is trying to access using the user account but again it is a different device it can block so these are called device management all these things can be done through the microsoft enter id the next question is can i connect on premises ad with ms enter id i have few applications which are running on on my on premise and i have a active directory to manage the users and now i have couple of my applications which is there in cloud and for that i am using ms enter id now can i connect both the systems because my users are the same right even though my applications are few applications are on premise few applications are on the cloud but my users crowd is the same in that case so you have a on premise environment running ad Active Directory means you are managing your users and XYZ, all the things that we have learned. And you have a cloud deployment where it is you are having Enter ID. In that case, what happens is you need to maintain two identity sets. If you think, if, if you have to keep both of them separate, you have to maintain two identity sets. Now, user ID, like username, password. So, for all the applications that are running on premise, they have, even I am this, I am the employee. I have a username and password for them separately I have created and the applications which are running on cloud when I am accessing them for that again I have a set of username and password. Now imagine five application on premise five application on enter ID now you can imagine there's a trouble right now what is the solution for it the solution is Microsoft enter connect what is it Microsoft enter connect using Microsoft enter connect you can connect the on-premise active directory 
Active Directory means you are managing your users there. You are creating new users, removing the people who left. Similar way, enter IDs on the cloud. Using the Microsoft Entra Connect, you can connect the on-premise Active Directory with the Entra ID. Entra ID means it's the same Active Directory only on the cloud. That's it. So what is the solution for that? Microsoft Entra Connect. Entra Connect synchronizes changes between both the identity services. So, for example, someone has created a user account here in this on-premise that get flown to the Entra ID on the cloud. If you create it there, that gets flowed here. Somebody changed the password here, that goes to the Entra ID. So, it has the synchronization that happens. The benefit is that once you have connected your on-premise Active Directory with the cloud Entra ID, you can use all the features the functionality of enter id for example single sign on multi-factor authentication self-service password reset all these are functions you know features of the cloud enter id all these things you can use after you have connected your on-premise id with enter id next let us understand one more another term called enter domain services domain now before you understand domain services let's understand few terms you will hear about a term called security policies. Now, what does the security policies mean? For example, who can access? Who all can access? Level of access, what they can access, right? What they should not access, right? Even the application is there, what they should access and what they should not access. Password complexity, password expiry, when the password is supposed to expire. Your data encryption, auditing, logging. So all these are called security policies. Now let's learn about another term called domain controller. You'll hear this called domain controller DC. Now what is this domain controller is? Now it is a server that authenticates users and enforces security policies. So all the security policies that you saw level of access, password complexity, password expiry. These are security policies. When your password should expire, it should expire every three months. It should expire every month. So all that you set as a security policy for your company. So to enforce the security policies to all the users that are there in my company. So you need a domain controller. Okay. And when you log in, it, it checks all those things, right? When did you last set your password? Is your password going to expire or not? If it is going to expire, it is going to tell you, hey, your password is going to expire in next two days. Please do reset it now. So all this happens through the domain controller server. Okay. That authenticates users and enforces security policies. Okay. This much you need to understand. Security policies means what? Domain controller means what? Now let's move on. In Microsoft Entra ID, it is letting you to use directory services without maintaining infrastructure. Now, earlier in the on-premise one, you need to have a server created to manage all these things. Now, with Entra ID, you don't have to manage any infrastructure. You get the active directory services directly on the cloud. Similarly, Microsoft domain services gets benefit of domain services. So when I say domain services, all these things comes into picture. Now, essentially, this is a ready-made domain controller for you. It's a server that, so domain controller means you need to think of this, okay? It's a server that authenticates users and enforce security policies. So it's a ready-made domain controller. It's a server that authenticates users and enforces security policies. Now let's understand a little more in detail. So Microsoft Entra Domain Services is a, sim in simple terms, what it means. Think of, Microsoft Entra Domain Services as a ready-made domain controller in the cloud. It lets your application and virtual machines use Active Directory features like user authentication, group policies, secure access without needing to set up or manage a traditional servers. It will give you that services without you having your own servers. Now, how it works? You can create a domain. So when you enable Microsoft Entra Domain Services, it automatically sets up a domain name like your company.com. Domain means what? Your company has a domain, right? Every company. So mycompany.com. So this, this is a domain. You can create a domain and deploys two secure servers in Azure to manage it. 
okay there will be two secure servers so that you know one fails the other one is working you know so two secure servers are by default created in azure to manage it no maintenance needed azure takes care of updates backup security so you don't have to worry about managing this domain controllers sync user information it copies one way sync user accounts and group details that are present in the microsoft enter id okay previously it was known as azure id azure active directory now it is known as microsoft enter id so it syncs all this information so employees can log in with the same credential that they already use works like traditional ad application and vm in azure can domain join group policies for your information purpose all these things can be done through the microsoft enter domain services